We are starting talking about Alzheimer's disease. They are still looking for a cure. It is a disease that impacts hundreds of thousands of people in our state. Today, DHEC announced a plan to address Alzheimer's. News 19's Nate Stanley spoke with experts on how this will impact patients right here in the Carolinas. The numbers are quite high. The impact is very severe and we don't have any real way to stop it right now. The Taylor Wilson is the Director of Government Affairs at the Alzheimer's Association South Carolina Chapter and the Chair on the Department on Aging's Alzheimer's Resource Coordination Center. She explains there are huge gaps for care in those suffering from the disease in South Carolina. It's estimated that over 111,000 individuals are living with Alzheimer's or a related form of dementia. We know that the cost of this disease um, is so severe for families that are paying for it that there are people people who have lost their houses. She says that's part of the reason she and the Alzheimer's Association teamed up with DHEC to create the South Carolina statewide plan to address Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, a five-year plan to address critical issues, including improving knowledge of the disease, supporting policy and advocacy efforts, improving quality of care, expanding support of health care programs, and improving access to data and resources statewide. How do we stand in the gaps that we identify through the data and through prevalence? That's truly what this plan is doing, is how do we stand in the gaps until we can build the infrastructure to support families facing a dementia diagnosis in South Carolina. That updated information has people grateful, like John Hilton and his wife Sharon. He lost his mother at the age of 78 to Alzheimer's. The burden on the family is, is tremendous. I mean, it's very disruptive of your life. Obviously, you care for your parents and you do anything for them and whatever required for them, but uh, they need help, right, to whatever you know, our society can do to get ahead of it would be great. Wilson says in the future, she hopes these steps will help to eventually find a cure to the disease. There's going to be a day where someone asks me, what was Alzheimer's in South Carolina? And I can tell them it doesn't matter because it's not here anymore. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, back in January, the Food and Drug Administration moved to fast track the second drug that could help slow the progression of Alzheimer's. The FDA granted accelerated approval to lecanemab for patients in early stage Alzheimer's. This is only the second drug ever approved that changes the course of Alzheimer's by slowing its progression at the early stages of the disease, giving people more time to continue to participate in daily life and live independently. More than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's and currently there is no cure.